Ready to unwrap a surprise from Consumer Cellular? Experience the gift of freedom with no contract, no hidden fees, and always free activation. Here comes the holiday surprise. From now till December 31st, new customers can enjoy their second month for free. To get this holiday offer, visit ConsumerCellular.com or call 1-888-FREEDOM and use promo code PODCAST. Act before December 31st to get your second month on us. Use promo code PODCAST. Hi, welcome to the Joy Business Report. Coming up this morning, government completes work on rationalization of some social intervention programs, including free SHS, with details to be announced in the 2024 budget. Also coming up, Association of Ghana Industries appeals to government to use the 2024 budget to review the current value-added tax system to free manufacturing firms from double taxation. Plus, city expected to remain fairly stable for last quarter of this year, despite concerns of Christmas-related imports and spending. Details coming up. My name is Daryl Kwal. Thanks for being with us. Good morning to our friends listening from uh, Kofi on KTU Radio. Government, with the help of the World Bank, has completed work on the rationalization of some social intervention programs like the free SHS. Some of the initiatives have come under scrutiny uh, by the country's development partners following concerns of rising expenditure. This could see some of the programs reviewed in relation to funding. Here's Finance Minister Ken Oforiata. We did a lot of work on that and I think um, one of the auditing firms um, that and those were part of the structural benchmarks that were needed um, for um, this approval that the SLA that we received. Also for the DPO from the World Bank which will be about 300 to 500 million um, dollars um, also in December. These were all boxes that we had to tick. Um, so about 17 I believe such programs were looked at therefore I will incorporate them into um, the budget this year. Little Bear told me that uh, that the bank, in principle, has approved some three hundred million dollars to Ghana under the budget support program. It should be coming in December. What do you make of this development? <laughs> well, that that uh, continues to go to say where we are um, as as a country and the favour we have found and the heart work that we have done. Not only is the DPO going to lead to the release of $300 million, but also Ghana Financial Stabilization Fund will also result in another $250 million so that we can make sure that the banks are strong, solvent, and also liquid. You had the Finance Minister Ken Ofoyata speaking on PM Express Business Edition, which airs tonight. Don't miss that conversation. That's at 9 p.m. Uh, PM Express Business Edition on the Join News Channel. Now, still on next year's budget, the Association of Ghana Industries has called on government to review the current value added tax system in the upcoming uh, budget. Now, according to the Chief Executive Officer, Sir Chuma Kwabwa, the design of VAT burdens producers, particularly manufacturers. He spoke to Joy Business at the Greater Accra Annual new meeting and seminar of the Association of Ghana Industries. The street levy, the VAT system where if you pay to government 21.9% on VAT, you can only recover 15%. That 6% difference becomes a levy on you as manufacturers. And we think this is of great concern to industries and it should be reversed. We persistently advocated on this and this year is part of our key inputs into the budget. We've also expressed concerns about the substandard products that are entering our market. Some of our companies say we are not afraid of the competition. We can compete fairly with the imported products. But then the level playing field is key. You had uh, Sir Chuma Kwaba, who is CEO of the Association of Ghana Industries. The Ghana city is expected to remain fairly stable for the last quarter of this year, despite concerns of Christmas-related demand for imports and spending. That's view of finance house SEM as captured in its latest market report. The projection by SEM Capital is based on what it describes as the strong reserve position of the Bank of Ghana and the fact that the situation will improve strongly going forward in the coming month. 
This is due to the expected inflows from the IMF World Bank before the end of this year. The development will put the Bank of Ghana in a strong position to defend and support the Ghana city over the next two months. The central bank is also forecasting a strong pickup in its gold reserves for the rest of the year due to the gold purchasing program and that is expected to also impact positively on the city's fortunes. The projected slowdown inflation rate for this year may act as a positive sentiment for the Ghana city. This is because if inflation is expected to worsen in the coming month, many would want to hedge against this development when it comes to protecting their investment by going out to secure more foreign currency. This should affect the Ghana city's performance for this quarter. All these development is expected to positively impact on the city outlook for this year. The central bank may even be in a strong position to support the city in the first quarter of 2024. Sam Capita also believes that the Bank of Ghana's policy rate tightening has played a very important role when it comes to the continuous decline in inflation rate in the past two months. That was a business desk report. Ghana so far issued about 98 certificates of origin to 54 registered companies exporting goods to other African markets under the Continental Free Trade Agreement. This makes the country one of the leading beneficiaries of APTA. According to the Ghana National Chamber of Commerce and Industry, more local firms are awaiting registration to start trading under the agreement. Head of Export at the Chamber of Commerce, um, Charles Arthur Interior, discloses to Joy Business after a media seminar by the Ghana Shippers Authority on Shipping and Logistics in Accra. We have a number of who are ready to export now. So if we get through with that, the number will increase very soon because we have we, some of them, we have our their application with us that we are working on. So if we are able to go through and then we the approval committee meet and then approve, the number will be more than that. Because you know and Right now, uh, people are now getting interested in the, the benefits. Right now, so we have to do more education. So other regions will hear more about the after, so that they will be able to. But the number will increase very soon. Head of exports at the Ghana National Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Charles Arthur Intiri. Deputy Minister of Trade and Industry Michael Chibefi has appealed to manufacturing firms in the automotive industry to engage with the original equipment component suppliers to establish their production plants in Ghana. Speaking to Joy Business at the launch of the first ever assembling of Ashok Leyland Phoenix tracks, Mr. Befi said this will ensure or enable Ghana expand um, its, and achieve its target of becoming an automobile assembling hub in West Africa. So far, I'm so good. I, I know you know that um, we started with uh, com- companies uh, coming in as assemblers. Most of them are working big OEMs outside the country. And uh, so far, most of the companies operating under policy are operating under basic XKD uh, system, working with us in, in this in this agreement. But we, we can confidently say that we are doing well. I mean, because you can see that uh, assemblers like VW, Toyota, Kantanka, Nissan, these companies are doing so, including even uh, Rana Motors, are, are, are working hard as far as the policy is concerned. Deputy Minister of Trade and Industry, Michael Archie Bayfield, we have more news for you this morning. Group Chief Executive and Managing Director of Goyal PLC, Kwame Osepempe, is asking the National Petroleum Authority to take a real look at the pricing at pricing as a cylinder recirculation model, which has already started. Now, under the model, residents will exchange empty cylinders for ready filled ones at cylinder action points. Mr. Pemper is one of is of the view that Goyal has made a lot of investments in the area, which requires a company to take a major role in its implementation. He spoke to Joy Business at the commissioning of its modern auto gas stations at the Goyal Bemakam service station. The original plan of the regulator has changed, has seen some changes. When Saturday, started, as I said, we were told that as soon as this one, was, the CRM was ready, all the small, small filling sales will go off. Now, they've been granted two years. We are going to run around us. Pricing, NP House to look at the pricing. They are still working on it. We don't have, we basically don't have any disagreement with them. Yet, I believe that we have invested so much. If the pace will go faster, it will help us to get what we have invested. Kwame Osepempe there, his group chief executive and managing director of Girl Ghana PLC, 
turning next to um, our Investor Eye episode for this morning, don't hesitate to report suspicious investment companies to the appropriate regulators such as the Bank of Ghana or the Securities and Action Commission. On today's Investor Eye, a senior manager in charge of risk management department at the Security and Action Commission, Zakaria Harinababa, tells Joy Business what to do after one false victim to a fraudulent investment scheme. Yes, yes. If you fall victim to these things, uh, we encourage you to report the matter to us in the first place. You report it to SEC. We have our uh, lines. We have the website. Uh, when you go to the website, you have a, a, a complaint a button that you can click in and then report this matter to, to us. You can also use the, the email address the info at sec.gov.gh. You can report the, the matter to us. You can also call, you can also walk in to us. Uh, however, because these uh, entities are not licensed, they are not regulated, we also encourage the public to report to the law enforcement agency. Uh, we have the Yoko, we have police, CID. You can report the matter to them. If they see that that issue falls under our mandate, they will definitely they will contact us. And that was Investor I make a date next week. Um, before we go, let's check the markets for you. Uh, this morning on the commodity market, crude oil still at $91 a barrel. Uh, this morning, gold increased marginally to open trading at 